Hello guys and welcome back to my Oki channel. Yeah, you cannot believe your eyes. What's in front of you? <laughs> it's an orchid haul and yeah, I know it's insanity, but I don't mind. It's fun to be a little bit different, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh, I waited and waited impatiently for the 15th of March to arrive. Uh, when they start to uh, ship to Europe again, but I had to wait for quite a while this time since it was really, really cold in Germany at the time and I didn't want to miss <laughs> a few plants again so I, I just placed the order and paid. So I waited patiently and I got a few Paphia Pedalums this time. You're not surprised, I guess, uh, since I got so lovely Paphia Pedalums from Swerta, especially Swerta, last year, as you saw in my previous video, the long reporting section video. Now I'm added a few more to my collection. Let's just put on my gloves and get on to it. This is so exciting. Yes. So, the well packed. What's this? I have no idea why this one was lying on top of all the others, but well, maybe they forgot to add this one. Whatever it is, <laughs> we shall see now. But they're really well packed. Can you see? Look at this. I think these are my <laughs> few of my Peffy Pedalos, perhaps. We are well packed and I do not hope they're wet now. <laughs> it only took two days, exactly two days, to deliver the orchids this time. So it was really quick. Nothing to complain about. Not at all. And now let's see what this could be. Um, so excited you wouldn't imagine this time but well I'm not so so surprised since <laughs> I got so many perfume pedalums but what kind is this which one can it be hmm it's a large one and it looks like it's got a little bit of um, Rothschildianum in it as you can tell by the leaves the thin slim green even colored leaves. And ha this one they had for sale. It was only 9.95 euro. Puffy Pelum Exul times Rothschildianum. <laughs> I didn't even look at the tag. <laughs> so I'm progressing. I'm getting better in detecting what's in them, what kind of cross they are. So, what a lovely orchid. And look here. It's, I think it's producing another one, another fan. Great. It does not happen often when it comes to growing Papupedalum Rothschildianums. That much I can say. Thank you so much for this beautiful orchid. Thank you. Well pleased. Beautifully packed. Really nicely packed. This, this video is going to be quite long, so you better place yourself in a nice position and pour yourself a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you prefer <laughs> when you're relaxing. Because these guys, you wouldn't want to miss, I can tell you that much. This one is not a Pepheopelum. It's a, yay, it's a Dendrobium. Piranha Twist. It's a good size one. It is flowering size. And sometime in the future, me and another YouTuber, we're going to make a care collab on this guy. Just so you know, if you watch my video, that is, yours is a little bit bigger. But this will be fine in a while, since you can see 
It's a lovely new growth here coming on. Fertilize it enough and put it in quite good light this summer. And we shall see that this one can compete with yours. Yay! And now, this is a little, little, little guy. It could be a phalaenopsis. I'm not sure. I got a few of those as well. And yes, it was a phalaenopsis. A small guy, but I do think I got one or two or th three of them that had one year, at least one year to flower in size. But I could not help myself. This, this is Phalaenopsis Mickey Big Way Peloric. And as I said, I wanted to buy a couple of more Peloric Phalaenopsis orchids. And this one has got patterned leaves as well. Yes, but it's a nice one. New leaves coming up there in the middle. Good roots. Well, not much to complain about. Lovely foliage. <laughs> it's fun with something different, isn't it? And this is the other one. This one is one of the other quite young Phalaenopsis orchids. Phalaenopsis L. Hissin. Spot Leopard Peloric, of course, Peloric. It looks almost the same, almost the same size as the other one. <laughs> Not much of a difference, <laughs> but yeah, good roots. Some new root tips there in sphagnum moss. Quite a while until this one will bloom for me. Well, perhaps one year. I think it will take one year. But this one is a lovely one. It's such a beautiful one, as you can see. Quite expensive though, but so lovely. So, what can this be? What on earth is this? It's another Francis Fox. <laughs> well, you, you all think I've already got a beautiful one, but... And yeah, this one should be flowering size. And, well, <laughs> it's a lot smaller than the one I already got, but... It's not the same variety. Haha. -ha. I'm not that crazy these days. <laughs> Just want to have two of them all <laughs> for fun. Because I've got so much space left for them. No, that's not the reason. This one is called Sunspots. And if you look at Svertus web shop, you can see that this one is um, under the other one in the shop. The regular one. And you can also see that they changed the genus name to Myrmico. No, Myrmiketle. What? Myrmiketa Vola Francis Fox instead of Richara Francis Fox. So. But this one will do just great. And it's gonna. Uh, it's got a couple of lovely new roots there. And if I put her in good light next to the other one. We can compare them, all right? Sunspots. Yes. So what on earth is this lovely guy? Take a guess. No, it's um, it's on a mount. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really notice when I looked at it, but it doesn't really matter. It's Dendrobium tetragonum, variation Gigantium. Yeah, it's the one with uh, giant flowers. No, not giant, but a little bit wider, a little bit larger flowers than the original one Dendrobium tetragonum has. Uh, I had one tetragonum a couple of years ago, and it did bloom for me. And I think it was sitting in a bark or sphagnum moss, or perhaps coconut husk chips, in my climate. <laughs> so that's why I got this one, and it cannot stay on a mount. I'm sorry to say, because it's such a lovely mount. But it's a healthy one, and it's a large one, and it's been blooming, as you can see, on several places as well. Uh, almost every cane. All of the canes. Yeah, so it sure is flowering size, and it had a good price as well, for such a lovely sized orchid. What can this little guy be? Can it be a phalaenopsis, perhaps? We shall see. Next one up. Let's see what it is. It's a, oh, oh, I love them, um, <coughs> sorry, and next one up is my lovely Puffypedalum henrianum. 
Aye. Well, this one should be flower size. And it's got modeled leaves and uh, yeah, nice foliage, I think. When it, but not, they're not only plain green leaves, I think. Yes, but um, good roots. And this time, I think this one is potted up in a little bit, uh, some layer to the top here. That stops here. Middle, in the middle of the pot. There's no uh, sphagnum moss to it. But it can stay in here for a while. I think. It's a bit small, but I don't know so much about these, this variety. So, I cannot say so much about it. So, well, I'm not complaining. I think this one has good roots. And that's the main thing. As well as it's not rottening. And it's growing. So, I'm pleased with even this guy. Next one up to look at is uh, Spike. Yay! That's a side for gods, isn't it? A spike. Beautiful. On this small size one, it's this variegated peloric phalaenopsis, I might add. This small but still flowering size, that's a good thing. That's what we want, isn't it? And its name is uh, Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian Sogo F858. <laughs> All right. And it should be Peloric. Her foliage is lovely, variegated, something different to look at, I think. Fun. Thank you so much for this Phalaenopsis and that you gave me the, the one with the spike. Thank you. So, next one up in the spotlight is. Little guy here. Whoa. All right. Oh, I thought it was rotten <laughs> when I saw the dark backside of the leaves. But it's really not too rotten or anything. It's a healthy little guy. And you can all see that this is a Phalaenopsis and not a Perfupedalum. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Good roots all over the place here in this little pot and it's my ah Phalaenopsis Stratiana Sogo I guess you all seen this variety before and yeah it almost looks like a white Shelleriana and this lovely lovely mottled foliage again beautiful and this one has got one year to flowering size but that's okay it's a space saver. That's beautiful. Thank you. And I also found a heat pack to the bottom of this box. That's nice. And now, <laughs> thought this one would be a giant, <laughs> considering the large pot it's in. But <laughs> well, uh, this was a funny setup. <laughs> and it's called RLC Gyrac. Contour. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And this one has got orange flowers. And she's also got Nadosa in her inheritance, as you can see. This one looked a little bit like my BC Binosa. The one you can see there. Green one. With a purple and white lip. But this one was an orange petals and sepals. And a lovely, lovely light pink lip. So she was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. But, uh, well, not... <laughs> Mount... Well, I cannot have an orchid that's spare-rooted in my collection. Uh, I don't think <laughs> this one will last. So perhaps, as her new uh, roots seem to be quite new, perhaps I can try to put her in Semihydro. But that is if I can release it from this uh, brick with holes in it. Yeah, without it destroying the roots. Otherwise, I would just have to leave this, this little tray here. Well, we shall see what to do with this guy. But uh, for now, I can stay on this for a couple of days until I can deal with this one. Well, it's a lovely one. It should be flower size, but well, yeah, we shall see. So now, three more to go before we're finished. 
Yay! La 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 la. Wow. Do you know what this is? Can you guess? <laughs> it's a catecedum type orchid. And this is the one that was so popular a couple of years ago. Everybody wanted to have a, this variety. And it was so expensive for a mature one. But today, this large one costed me not even 20 euro. Look, it's a decent size pseudobulb here. Look at my hand here. Yeah, what is it? Moniara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Yay, finally I got a decent size sample of this one. I had two small ones, really, really small seedlings. And, well, they did not make it. One rotted and one dried out. And rotted after that. So, and the small seedlings I got, they were about this size. Like this new cane here is producing, this new growth. And they cost about 8 to 10 euros. So, 19 euro, 1995 euro for this one is a bargain. Finally, I got it. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for this good size orchid. This made my day. It really did. So let's see here. What we got? Yay, 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 yay. Well, yeah. It's um, Papi Pedal. And I think it's sitting in uh, bark media, but I uh, cannot see the roots, unfortunately. But it's got a friend here. <laughs> yeah. We shall see what it is. I'm curious. As usual. Oh yeah, it's this lovely one. Paphiopedalum hirsutissimum. Uh, this is suspicious, I think, and with a, yeah, a little bit mottled padding to the leaves as well. But okay, I think this one is a little bit more difficult one considering care and stuff. I think this is a candidate for being outside during summertime and to taste a little bit of low and night temperatures to thrive. But I will ask the professional in Paphiopedalums in my orchid society. She grew them so well, you wouldn't imagine, and she's a, yeah, she really know about this genus. That much I can say. It's her specialty. It's a lovely flower on this one. Good size, I think. I'm pleased. So now, finally, the last orchid of this order. I bought quite a lot of orchids, but not so huge sized. Now let's see. Yay! I almost forgot what I ordered. I think that's uh, embarrassing this time. But I love surprises, so I did not check before I opened the box. I didn't want to remember. I would like to have some surprises. Can you guess what this is? Just by looking at it. This uh, somewhat um, fat, plump, wide and short pseudobobs of this encyclia type foliage and blooming size and a new growth and another even larger new growth. So what is it then? It's a real common orchid. Many of us have it. But I didn't. Encyclia cordigera. I love the flowers on this one. I really do. But I also like pseudobulbs. Beautifully shaped pseudobulbs. So I really have a thing for fat plump pseudobulbs. Round pseudobulbs that is. So this one is a beauty. Unfortunately, she's sitting in uh, Spatna Moss, but I will make a soft reporting on her and she will do just fine in the future as well. And she's going to grow on to a large size orchid before long. I can show, I show you that. Lovely orchid. Again. So I think this is it. Hey, hey. I just thought that they forgot 
to add the pine bark. <laughs> but now, if, when I look a little bit more closely, I can see that somebody's made another, yet another little <laughs> additional package <laughs> to the package. <laughs> or how to put it, I don't know. So they did not forget it. <laughs> so here's my pine bark. <laughs> My lovely pine bark. Again. <laughs> I always buy them. So, good job, Swarter, even this time. And if you somewhat enjoy this video in any way, please give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe? Uh, well, that would be fun, I think. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.